Maccabim Shani, two Maccabees, two. It is also found in the records that Yeremiahu, the prophet, commanded them that were carried away to take of the fire, as it has been signified. And how that the prophet, having given them the Torah, charged them not to forget the commandments of Yahuwah, and that they should not err in their minds when they see images of silver and gold with their ornaments. And with other such speeches exhorted to them, that the Torah should not depart from their hearts. It was also contained in the same writing that the prophet, being warned of Elohim, commanded the tabernacle and the ark to go with him as he went forth into the mountain, where Moshe climbed up and saw the heritage of Elohim. And when Yirmiyahu came thither, he found a hollow cave, wherein he laid the tabernacle and the ark and the altar of incense, and so stopped the door. And some of those that followed him came to mark the way, but they could not find it which when Yeremiahu perceived, he blamed them, saying, As for that place, it shall be unknown until the time that Elohim gather his people again together and receive them unto mercy. Then shall Yahuwah show them these things, and the glory of Yahuwah shall appear, and the cloud also, as it was showed under Moshe. And as when Shalomah desired that the place might be honorably sanctified, it was also declared that he, being wise, offered the sacrifice of dedication and of the finishing of the temple. And as when Moshe prayed unto Yahweh, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the sacrifices. Even so prayed Shalomah also, and the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offerings. And Moshe said, and because the sin offering was not to be eaten, it was consumed. So Shalomah kept those eight days. The same things also were reported in the writings and commentaries of Nehemiah. And how he, founding a library, gathered together the acts of the kings and the prophets and of David, and the Sepharim of the kings concerning the holy gifts, in like manner also Yahudah gathered together all those things that were lost by reason of the war he we had rather by reason of the war we had, and they remain with us. Wherefore if ye have need thereof, send some to fetch them unto you. Whereas we then are about to celebrate the purification we have written unto you, and ye shall do well, if ye keep the same days. We hope also that Elohim, that delivered all his people and gave them all a heritage and the kingdom and the priesthood and the sanctuary, as he promised in the Torah, will shortly have mercy upon us and gather us together out of every land under heaven into the holy place, for he has delivered us out of great troubles and has purified the place. Now as concerning Yehudah Maccabee, and his brethren, and the purification of the great temple, and the dedication of the altar, and the wars against Antiochus, Epiphanes, and Eupator, his son, and the manifest signs that came from heaven unto those that behaved themselves manfully to their honor for Yahudaism, rather for, for Yahudaism, so that being but a few they overcame the whole country and chased barbarous multitudes and recovered again the temple renowned, rather renowned, all the world over and freed the city and upheld the Torah, which were going down, Yahuwah being gracious unto them with all favor. All these things, I say, being declared by Yachon of Sarin in five Safarim. We will essay to abridge in one volume, for considering the infinite number and the difficulty which they find that desire to look into the narrations of the story, for the variety of the matter, we have been careful that they that will read may have delight, and that they that are desirous to commit to memory might have 
might have ease, and that all into those hands it comes might have profit. Therefore to us that have taken upon us this painful labor of abridging, it was not easy, but a matter of sweat and watching. Even as it is no ease unto him that prepares a banquet and seeks the benefit of others, yet the pleasuring of many we will undertake gladly this great pains. Leaving to the author the exact handling of every particle, rather, leaving to the author the exact handling of every particular, and laboring to follow the rules of an abridgment. For as the master builder of a new house must care for the whole building, but he that undertakes to set it out and paint it must seek out fit things for the adorning thereof, even so I think it is with us. To stand upon every point, and to go over things at large, and to be curious in particulars, belongs to the first author of the story. But to use brevity and avoid such laboring of the work is to be granted to him that will make an abridgment. Here then will we begin the story, only adding thus much to that which has been said, that it is a foolish thing to make a long prologue and to be short in the story itself. 